we need to get done the detoxification according, uh, uh, according to environment, according to constitution and the disease stage. So there are different kinds of detoxifications and mainly what we use in gynecological practice is busting. That is a medicine given by the anal root. And it's not a enema or colon wash, but actually we keep different different combination of herbs through the anal root. It gets absorbed in the intestines, give lubrication and even cleanse it off. So a pattern or the problems which creates the inflammation in your body. We call it inflammatory cytokines that they disturb the whole system and we, if we help them to dissolve and get rid of them through anal root, it actually works in your whole body system. This medicine given by the anal root even act on your endocrinal glands, endocrinal system. As we use this busty treatment or the detoxification method given by the anal root for infertility and it helps a lot for ovulation even to improve the endometrium lining, improve the uh, when the antimalarian hormones get uh, less and even uh, the fertility chances goes down. We give different kind of anal root uh, medicines. The other important thing uh, you are asking, you are like asking me about listeners. I'm also started relating with the listeners. So I'm visualizing a whole age group of listeners. See, this simple thing actually given by the nasal root. That is nausea treatment. The nasal installation, two or three drops of simple ghee or oil. You can use even sesame oil, two drops of sesame oil, both nostrils, you fit it at a night, it gets absorbed in your nasal mucosa and it gives you sound sleep and even it helps to prevent the wrinkles, Ooh. tiny eyes and even prevent hair loss. Simply, this nausea, if used medicinally, it even helps to treat the hormonal imbalance in women. Wow. Like, uh, if, uh, yeah, yeah, serum prolactin level help increases and certain kind of amenorrhea or menstruation problems occurs. So we keep the medicine through nasal root. We did extensive research on allergy problems. We uh, started giving these nasal treatments, the nasal installation, and prevent the droplet infections. If you apply it beforehand, going out, it uh, uh, prevent the droplet infections. And even we can treat the sinusitis. So preventive and curative. Okay. So this is nausea, busty, and even viration. That viration is medicinal purgatives. We give scientifically, methodologically, some kind of medicine. And first we do oleation of all of our body. So the microcellular level debris comes out, comes into the stomach and then we get cleansed out with certain drugs, certain medicines. So all the things like uh, a patient may get six, seven times loose motion and the uh, gets cleansed off. This region, I've seen a difficult ovulatory pattern, an ovulatory cycle, an ovulatory cycle, helps a woman to get her ovulation back and even to get rid of obesity. So that is also very important. So this kind of detoxification, but under doctor's supervision, you need to take, you can put the nasal installation, no worries about that. I can say because Last 25 years, I've given so many patients, so many healthy, uh, specifically the young, beautiful girls. This yep. nasal institution. It, it uh, prevents the hair fall also. Early growing of the hair also. Very interesting. So at least if, uh, my uh, listeners can get this nasal installation part 
I apply it and I will be more than happy. Well, it, it will be useful for them. Yes, Lord. Yes. That's amazing. Yes. And that's so simple and so easy to do. And yes. you, know, you talked about lifestyle modifications. And I know yes. those are so important because that's the building blocks of who they are. But I think sometimes people find those a little bit more intimidating because it feels like they might have to change so right. much. Do you have any tips on a couple of easy lifestyle modifications that listeners might want to start doing today? Yes, yes. See, Lord, I can say it because I'm a passionate marathoner. I myself is a fitness lover. So I do it. I practice it daily. And I think I've given so many of my patients simple five stages lifestyle modifications. You can utilize this any part of the world. First, most important, wake up early. See, I was reading one book, 5M Club. So, means this concept is all over uh, spread now. If you get up before sunrise, the endorphins secreted from your brain helps you to keep energetic all over the day. So that simple, get up before the sunrise, one and a half hour before the sunrise. Then have half cup of lukewarm water. See, H. pylori causes hyperacidity, certain kind of problems. If you take this half cup of lukewarm water, you can prevent the hyperacidity and you can digest the food. If it gets it's undigested in your stomach, uh, the yesterday's food, it gets digested. So half cup of lukewarm water early in the morning, then apply oil or some kind of lubrication all over your body, at least to your feet and to the of head and even to the internal part of the ear, only to apply, not to put your in speed, but only to apply. That gives rise to a full package to prevent aging, to prevent the fatigue, because this chronic fatigue syndrome is also very common nowadays in today's era. So it prevents fatigue, it prevents the aging, and it prevents the visation of your pains, visation of different kind of pains. It prevents the different kind of pains. So that massage is very important. You can do it at your own and the exercise part. We keep on telling that exercise is important, exercise is important, but it should come from within that if you exercise daily, believe me, your lifestyle is at its best part. If you exercise daily, it gives you a lot of energy, a lot of positive emotions, and actually you, you get the complete health. The most other important thing is eat only when you are hungry. And yeah. don't fast if you are hungry. Means don't uh, uh, like follow food fads or uh, diet fats because this is also very common. But you go you talk to your body continuously. You go by your body signals. If you're hungry, just sip a lukewarm water. Sometimes you're thirsty. And this is false hunger. So yeah. sip uh, lukewarm water. So that hunger, uh, if it's only craving, it will go off. But still you're hungry, you need to eat. You should, uh, rather than carrying, always uh, say my uh, patient, rather than carrying lipsticks and the makeup, uh, all in your purse, carry the healthy foods also. Because certain seeds, certain uh, dry fruits help you to uh, keep your mood up and help you to concentrate, focus on your work. Because brain requires glucose to work properly. And that glucose is through your food, your fuel. So that should be properly maintained. And the most important thing is your sleep. Sleep is very important aspect of lifestyle because you if don't get proper sleep, you will have a lot many diseases. So night sleep six to seven hours. But if you 
uh, for your like uh, according to your profession or any other reason you won't get uh, proper 6 7 hours sleep you need to complete the sleep during daytime but before your food not after your food and the half of the amount means if you you are you slept for 4 hours say and 2 hours sleep remaining so you can take your afternoon nap one hour or uh, you can adjust one hour nap but not after food before the food because if you take a nap after the food the obesity problem increases simple simple things yeah but it helps a lot Very another thing is, yeah yeah active lifestyle is important yeah yes mm -hmm. yes yeah, it is. Thank you for just, you know, listing some of those simple things because I think sometimes people get overwhelmed. They realize they're in bad habits and they think about, you know, 200 things that they need to do and then they're just overwhelmed so they stop. So, I, yeah, I like that you were able to break that down. That's helpful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And, and you mentioned you, you're a marathoner and you love running. I would just yes. like to hear more about you and about your love of running. Yeah, actually, uh, I started running late. So everybody was uh, asking, oh, how can you run? I said, no. Uh, as I'm following my Ayurveda and yoga remedies for all over my life, I can run. And just believe me, I participated in Bangalore Ultra Marathon. It was 75 kilometers run ultra marathon i was super excited it was a jungle run and i participated and i won first rank so if you decide if you discipline if you discipline if you practice properly and you take proper care of your food if you take proper care of your muscle groups you can do anything in the world that's what i want to emphasize and running makes you feel happier and healthier See, it actually changed all of my life because after this, uh, I started my running. I started uh, participating in lot many marathons, and I could realize if you have certain passion related with your fitness regime, it helps you to improve your career graphics. So overall, yeah, yeah. So overall. Uh, running helped me a lot and it was a really interesting journey. I did 75 kilometers, I did 62 kilometers ultra marathon. Now, now I'm planning for uh, like higher altitude, 100 kilometers marathon, then uh, 21 kilometers to I do regularly. I'm a pacer for these marathons nowadays. I encourage people to complete uh, the their runs in certain timings. I help them to train properly. So that is my passion. Yeah. Very interesting. Thank you. Thank you for asking me about running. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. I think it's so important for all of us to follow our passions. You know, oh. whether it's something that we have integrated in our work. Um, oh, yes. Or just that's a little separate in our life. Following our passion is really what brings us joy. And I can tell yeah. you're passionate about everything, you know, running, but also women and, and babies and helping create that amazing, healthy offspring and helping people just live with such joy and fulfillment. That's so meaningful. Thank you for your service to humanity. Thank you. Thank you, Loda. Me and my husband, they both of us are working into community health, health awareness. So more of more of my uh, interest of topic is prevention. My interest of topic to like get them the correct lifestyle, get them the correct food habits. We conducted a lot of workshops regarding that, that healthy and happy cooking, then nurturing the puberty level group of uh, girls and even boys to understand themselves properly because health literacy is very important. It's very important. Yes. Health literacy. Yeah, yes. very Thank much. You. I thank you so much. It was such an honor to spend this time with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lerda. Thank you very much. Gratitude. Listeners, I hope you have a fantastic day. I want you to have a fantastic week. And as usual, don't forget to flaunt.
Tune in next time to Flaunt. Build your dreams. Live your sparkle.